good to go. That's good. That's good. And now I can see that. And we're back. Now, where are we? Okay. Um. Proda. Trying to do what? Center of the galaxy. That's uh, not enough. Um, stuff. But, I don't know. We can get pretty far. It's like, what, a thousand light years? Well, I apparently picked up a baby freighter. Alright. Well, if we actually max the freighter out, we can get to the center of the galaxy pretty quick. I don't think I got the modules to do it, though. Hmm? Let's see. Let's see what we can find. Um, our freighter... There's no one near us. Is there a reason for that? Uh, let's find out. No, we're finished here. Alright, so that's why I picked it up. We are 712k from the center. Well, considering my jump distance is a thousand. Not too bad. Uh, the freighter's jump range is a hundred. So, question is, do I have any of the modules to make her able to jump farther? Ah, there she is. I didn't hunt for a super powerful fratter. I could have. I could have hunted for an S. But I. I don't know. I don't like this one. I think I was just looking for a freighter. And he came along, so I said heck with it and just took it. So we'll see. Are these planes all mine? I don't remember having these planes. Yeah, what are you? You are a very damaged A. You're salvageable. This is my original bird. And it's it's a star, I like the plane. Let's see what else we got here, anything? No. New arrivals, but not what we're looking for. Alright, so... We are... Set our plane up. We're gonna go upstairs. And see if... We've unlocked any of the... Blueprints, or if we can't lie, the blueprints. I have one savage module, and I have none of the jump drives unlocked. Well, that's a sticky looking. Because without jump drive modules, this thing's not going to go very far very quickly. Uh, Interstellar Core Extractor. Chop, 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 chop. Okay. Yeah, several of those. Um, I don't have a fleet out, so we'll fix that problem. Box 
so craft terminal, I need to get a dude for that. I only have two stored modules. Well, considering the thing we're we really trying to do is uh, go for center of the galaxy, stretch models really aren't a thing. So. That's okay. I think we'll check the system out real quick. Because apparently there's a... There's some... Uh, that's we haven't checked out yet. And we need some money. So let's check out this dude. What is he? Uh, sure. Is that worth a hell of a lot, but we can use the cash. Then we can use the money. I mean, it's not, you know, fantastic. By any means. But it's still better than nothing. So let's have a look at this planet. Copper, uranium, isotropic. What's that one? Is that one any better? Don't know. It's behind the planet. Oh, I clipped the edge of the atmosphere. That's not fun. Alright, so... Here we go. And what's this one? It's a water planet. It's a bountiful star ball. Copper, perfinium. Nothing really useful for us at the moment. So let's go ahead and... See how far we can do. We can go with quite a ways. We can definitely go quite a ways without having to. I mean, we can jump straight out here. Probably then some. Why is it going way up here? Who wants to bet it's going to take a turn? That way. Into that side of the, of the cloud. Let's go ahead and jump there. And see what we got. I am afraid I'm much farther jump wrench. But it's a little expensive. Gotta get those freighter bottles. But if you can get them, it's not too bad. Most of what we need is just pretty much um, generic resources. Oh, it's fine. Reactive planet. What's my inventory actually? Mine is okay. Inventory is pretty good. Oh yeah, come on. Bring it. I need the money. Trust me, I could use the money. I 
can use probably nanites more. But I will take the money. And I do not have any friends in my way. A lot of people like wingmen are the best things that slice bread. And I was playing the expeditions and wingmen tend to get in the way. Like that. Crystals, but I really don't need that many right now. I already have like 20 of them. And he doesn't plan it. He doesn't, that's not too bad. I don't think I have any spare storm crystals, do I? No, I got 17. So I've got plenty of storm crystals. Commenting which way we were going to end up going. And I joked about having to go up and around through that purple section. But apparently not. I can jump this way. Interesting. Let's see, that's 653. We can jump farther than that. We can jump. Around a thousand. It's a gex system. Unfortunately, this is an uncharted system. That works for me. These sometimes have really cool stuff on them. You will not find many freighters or craft ships or anything. No station, no oddities. But sometimes you will find life incompatible planet. That is new. I've never seen one of those before. Never seen that planet type before. What's this one? Acrid. What's that one? Tor. Okay, so we have to go to this one because I've never seen this before. What are you? Let's see what this one is. Desert. That's fine. Okay, desert. Let's just go this way. God, this planet's um, visibility. Dude, that's bad. Nice to having so little titanium, that's for sure. Or tritium, rather. It's definitely a problem. That one's corrosive. And that one is breached moon. Very interesting. I think we're definitely gonna go to that. Life incompatible one. I want to see what that means. Never seen one of those. That sounds interesting. Considering we're playing a perfect death save, that sounds rather lethal. Alright, shield battery. That works for me. Now, this guy will probably have a rock. Oh, nope. Suspicious weaponry. I guess that works. Uh, right. Okay. Actually, that there. That there. 
because I'm kind of interested in what this technology has. Now, yeah, okay, I'll take the, take the analysis, but that's not really useful. Suspicious goods, suspicious weaponry. Alright, so we got here geocannon module, that's nothing, and a pulse spitter module, that's nothing equal. That's it either. Okay, so let's go back to the planet. We actually. At the Akron, where's that one that's life inhospitable? I want to see that one. That one just sounds wacky. Corrosive. Breached. Alright, so I've lost my planet. Where's my planet? There's the Akron. So I am in a system that has nothing going on, except the pirates harassing me every 10 seconds. What is up with that? That just sounds weird. I mean, I'm not going to argue it. We can use the, the money. I'm missing a planet. Right, right. Is that it? Gross it. Breached. Desert. That's five. Right, which one was the one that said life inhospitable? I don't know. There's only five planets. Oh, well. Let's go down here and see if there's anything interesting. Probably won't be anything interesting. It's just the way it works. But, we'll see. We'll have to go down and take a look and, yeah. who knows. I mean, it's a desert planet, so it might have something interesting on it. Uh, let's slow down. Okay. Oh, this one's gonna lag. Okay, so there we go, it's loaded. Some planets low have bad load lag for me. I think it's my uh, graphics card actually, because there's not anything showing up saying that it should have load issues. CPU's fine, RAM's fine, beta card looks fine, but I think that some of the effects um, that they use normally would be handled by the graphics card. But, my graphics card just purely doesn't like it. So, when that's the case, you can forget it. Alright, okay. I do want to get this. This is always useful. And I do have a thermal shield, so. 
let's go ahead and see how many animals we have on this planet. Survey says eight. Huh. I wonder how easy it would be to get all the animals on this planet. Some are better than others. And some are so atrocious. that you always need regardless of what you're doing dihydrate dihydrogen is always something you need and you can't always get a lot of it because like oxygen and especially carbon hydrogen and carbon like no one sells sometimes. It's really hard to find vendors that sell it. So, it doesn't work out too well for you. But, actually we're doing pretty good, we're already half done. But, sometimes, you can find a planet like this that has a ton of it. Everywhere I look, there's dodge. That's fantastic. So we'll just borrow a whole bunch of it and. Oh no. Sentinel. Go on, Sentinel. Alright. We're just gonna have to look around and see. So, we do, there's one. Where are we at? Okay, we're almost full. Should we have room in the cargo bay? Nah, I have been working with those. I should probably go find ourselves some, um, escape pods. So that I can actually get a few more. Yeah, fine, it's fine. We need carbon anyway. Because we'll need the carbon and the chromatic metals in order to make uh, antimatter. I really need the antimatter. how we're going to get to the side of the galaxy. I'm building those big old warp things. Oh look, cactuses. Go figure. This planet has delicious cactuses on Crystal sulfide. Oh. Well, that's problematic. I need an acrid water world to that. Not hard to find. We have one in the, in the system. Well, it's acrid. We don't know if it's a water world or not. But yeah, so this one doesn't have anything really going on with it. It actually deposits nothing major. That's when you go to an empty planet, an empty system. Now, that should take us up to what, eight, uh, six. Now, the last two are what? Underground. 
So we can find ourselves a hole. We might find them. Undergrounds are always the hardest ones. Because even if they're common, they don't always show up. I do actually kind of miss my head, though. Because I have a... Uh, it is a Sentinel's update on my normal save. So I have that Sentinel. And he is pretty okay. He doesn't do any good in caves or anything. He's like any other pet. He's just in caves. But... It's okay. Let's see now. What's over here? Hole in the ground, maybe? It's a lot of carbon. I'm not seeing any caves here where I landed. Oh well. Uh, so we're not really going for milestones at this point. We're pretty much just going for survivability and going for the center of the county. Well, I found a hole. So we found a cave. Now let's see if we can find life in it. Let's see here. Well, that's entertaining. I'm just filling up my... I don't really have no silica. It's so strange. Because I don't normally do this. We only have like a stack of silicon. Yeah, you know, two hundred and fifty silicon is more than enough. So a couple of recharges, and you actually need it for something which you usually don't. It's plenty to do. Nothing in this area. Such a shame. Extreme storm. Sweet. I can get some more crystals maybe while we're here. Wait. I found something I don't have. I guess he likes to come out in the storms. Anybody else? I didn't see stroke crystals on this planet. That's unusual. No wonder any extreme storms you see stroke crystals. Yes, that's the thing. All right, so this one's not an overly great world, but it's fine. We're good. 
This place is hot during the day and cold at night. It has nasty little storms. So... We need a hundred chromatic metal, one cloud computer, and we need some crystal sulfide. So, if we go to... That's problematic. Is that what I needed those for? Yep, that's why. Alright, so where is that arid world? That's gonna be a nice bomb. There it is! Life incompatible! Why couldn't I find that one before? I don't know. We're going there. I've never been to a world that's a life incompatible before. I am putting a base down on this one. Uh, I need a refiner. Do I have... I need. No. I'm sorry, I will, I am claiming this planet. And I'll come back to it later. I want to put a base here so I can always find it. Standard ice planet. I found some caves. So it looks like a standard ice planet. What do we have? Weather perfectly clear. Sentinels. Attentive. Flora none. Fauna absent. So there's nothing here. It's just a frozen planet. Right, let's get inside. Let's take a look at the discoveries. Alright, so it does have a little bit of flora and a little bit of mineral. Alright, so let's go to the log market. So there are eight plants and there are 18 minerals. That's not too bad. We can probably bang that out a lot pretty quick. Because the plants are pretty much going to be these things here. Oh, apparently not those. There's that rock. And it's going to be cave plants. That's what it's going to be. Just a matter of. Ah, oh, it's that. Like, wait a minute, what is that? Which one is that? It's so weird. Alright, so. Ah, there's one. It's one of our eight plants. Pretty much, if it's eight plants, that's the eight standard plants that every planet will have. They will always have the basic resources and there are a handful of plants that every planet will always have. If you got the oxygen plant, you got the um, uh, The hydrogen. There's one in there. I can't. Come on, there it is. I say, there's one in there. I keep bouncing past it. Let's see now. You? Most 
most people don't bother scanning all of the minerals on a planet, and I don't know it either. But this was just such an interesting planet that I figure, why not? At least we'll see if we can just find them all. It shouldn't be too hard. I mean, it's a completely in lifeless. Low gravity, too. Yeah, it's got really low gravity. I like it. Yeah, if I want to put a base on. Um. An O2 plant. This is a hydrogen field. And there's an O2 plant over here. But yeah, finding all of the things is definitely going to take a while. Because, well, there's not a lot here. I need to scan these. There we go. So there's the oxygen plant. And we'll just go ahead and pick up the oxygen over here. There's going to be a ton of oxygen. Do we really need this much? No, not really. Not for what we're doing. But it doesn't hurt to have the basics. Oxygen, ferrite, dust. Dihydrogen, which is and you know like copper or something, just because I have to um, do so many jumps in order to actually make it to the center of the galaxy. You know, we're getting there though. Definitely getting all the rocks. So where are we at on the rocks? Um, we've got two of the plants and eight and eleven of the eighteen rocks. Um. So we need. What do we need? We probably need more caves to find the rocks. Cobalt deposit. Rusted. Oh no, cobalt. That's useful. Let's go to that. A whispering egg. No, definitely don't want to deal with with horrors. Though having a pet horror would be cool. The, it was an expedition a while back for one of those. I don't know if you can still get them. Because, I mean, I, got, I did a bunch of the expeditions on my PS4 account. But because of the sheer amount of lag that it has in loading stuff, I stopped playing it on the PS4. It came to PC instead. We need a sodium plant. We need the dihydrogen plant. Oh, that's the hydrogen field. It's fun. I have plenty of life support. There's nothing that is a dihydrogen plant. That is a sodium plant and a bigger field of oxygen. What about that sodium plant? We definitely need that. Let's see now. What else do we? Nothing, just 
that sodium plant so far. Gives me three plants. So this world, <laughs> it's so unique. I've never seen a world that said this. I think life incompatible planet. I've seen barren, broken, but never life incompatible. That's such a weird thing for them to, to have a planet for. I like it though. It's a very cool planet. Ain't nothing here. I know there's barely even base resources here on this planet. I mean, honestly. I'm having trouble finding some of the base resources. But, you know, that's the hazard of being on a planet. It's this barren. There we go. Uh, there's one more here. Alright, so let's see if we can find any of the other plants. So that takes us up to three plants. Yeah, 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 I know. That's going around. I'm back to that cobalt in a bat. So I'm hoping we can find some more of the rocks and stuff we're missing. I'm not seeing the rocks or the plants and anything that we're missing. Just more of the same. Very interesting. And that is not a scannable object, unfortunately. A lot of those types of plants are scannable, but that one, not so much. I don't know why. I don't know why that particular one's not scannable. Right, cobalt. I don't really need the cobalt, to be honest, but I'll take it anyway. It doesn't hurt to have. Okay, that's a carbon. It doesn't help us any. So that cobalt really doesn't help us much either. It doesn't hurt to have them. And the life support's just draining. Ugh. Yeah, I know. I need to go to the hacker planet and get the, the soft light crystals. It's not a big deal. I just need to do it. Uh, all right, so we need to fill up on cobalt. And if you do the smaller um, ball, it takes longer, but you do actually get more out of it. I don't really know how much. I've never tested it. I mean, you know way to do that would be to do a save, mine it out, you know, reload, and so on and so forth. But it does seem to give you a little more if you use the small eyeball. Alright, let may just be a perception thing. But... One of these days, I'll actually check it. And actually see if it's a, if it's true. Or if it's just a perception. But, you know. Alright, well, I need to... Apparently... 
fill my silicon stores because I am definitely low on silicon. That is definitely something that we do need to worry about. Anything to give us a little more juice. A little bit of silicon goes a long way. You only need a little bit on you and you can actually mine out what you need to get which get the rest of it. It's a nuisance, it's annoying, but it does work. You know, mining silicon powder is almost a nonsensical thing because you usually mine so much of it that you have, you know, a stack in your pack somewhere. And you got 500 to 1,000 on you. And you're like, oh, I don't need this. I just keep throwing it away, and today I actually need it. So it's kind of a shame. But, you know, it is what it is. But, you know. So that gives us... a stack and a half of cobalt. That'll work. I have a stack on it. You have it over a stack of sodium and 70 oxygen. That's not a lot of oxygen, but it's okay. You don't really need that much. Uh, can I even make a quantum computer on this character? No, I haven't unlocked that yet. Alright, so let's have a look around. That's the oxygen plant. We're good on him. I didn't need chromatic metals. So that's something we do need. Wait, there's a rock here I don't have. That big one. Okay. Any others? Let's see here. What do we got? We got anything good? No, no, no. So the question is, would you build on this planet? Or a planet like this? Well, there's just nothing. These nothing planets are definitely interesting. I know at one point I found a planet that was, you know, one of these really dismal planets and the sentinels were like highly aggressive but the planet was like this there's nothing here it was actually kind of funny oh I have 300 and 20. I have a stack in it. I have a stack in the third. That's fine. Come on. So let's do this. One push is like one. Uh, what was that? Okay, that was weird. That's the medium, gave me one. That's the large, gave me three. So yeah, definitely, use the small. Small is definitely a thing you want to do. You want to make a lot. You just want to clear it fast, use the large one. But if you want to get a lot of resources, use the small one. Or use the ground flattener. It's the, uh, this one. Just 
just gotta tap it. And you'll just get a ton of resources that way. Uh, interesting. There is an underground dog though. So we'll just like Where is it at? Where is it at? It's not there. So there's going to be a cave down here. If you're looking for caves, underground rocks are a great hint. Now, vertex caves really aren't worth that much. But they are a nice indication that there's going to be a good sized cave. Here we go. There's another plant. Let's see what else we have down here. Anything good? Anything new? I know we're almost done with the plants and animals. Uh, plants and, um, minerals on this planet, but not quite there yet. Still got a few left. Okay, we've got monkey. Right into the log. I still have four rocks and four plants. It's kind of interesting. But they're here somewhere. Maybe they're rare. Maybe they're hard to find. Maybe I keep walking past them because I think there's something else. We're going to take a look. Vertex, the vertex keys are well guarded. I ain't going that way. Let's go this way. Nice. See, there's another one over here. Alright. Um, now we'll just dig through this. Takes a bit, but every time you sit there and dig through these things, you get a little more resources. You get a little more information. You just have to work your way through it. And eventually, you get wherever you're going. Here we go. And there's our vortex cubes. Now, are we picking up? No. They're not really worth picking up. Honestly, when it comes to a stack, a vortex cube is not that much. I'd rather mine that cobalt and sell that, because that's 250 a stack versus the vortex cubes, which are like maybe 100 a stack. really not worth that much. You think they would be. But they lowered the price on them. A lot of the findable um, RNG type objects they reduced the value on so that they couldn't be farmed as easily. That was a way of stopping people from having like infinite farms of cash. Because gravitino balls used to stack in like groups of ten or something like that. And they were worth like fifty K each or something stupid. They were doing something stupid. Now granted you had to fight sentinels. But if you found a plant that had living plant had sentient plants they dropped their heels left and right. 
Yeah, you get you get a whole bunch of them real quick. You know, and you're underground, so sure the sentinels might be alerted, but they don't bother you. And it's still good money now. So I see people set up like money farms. I'll have them. Hey, TJ. Thank you for the lark. Always appreciative. Okay. Unfortunately, we're trying to see if we can find the last of the minerals and plants on this planet, and it's not being cooperative. It's just not being cooperative. This planet don't want to do it. It don't want to cough them up. There we go, there's one. That's one of the minerals we're missing. So that leaves us with three minerals and four plants. And that leaves us with two minerals. I think we might actually be able to find them all on this planet. Most planets you can't find all of the minerals. Plants possible. Because they tend to be more visible. But minerals, these little rocks, there's so many little rocks that um, show up. And you just don't have access to them. And those aren't scannable, so. Let's see. Doesn't look like I don't see my last two rocks. Are you giving up? Uh, probably not. Not yet. Can't find any of the plants, though. I just might. Because you only found the oxygen, the marrow bulbs, and the, um, uh, sodium. I haven't found the other plants. I want the dihydrogen, I think. Don't I? Do I? Do I need it? Yeah, it'd be useful. Mm -hmm. I'll just scan while we're waiting. We'll get distracted in a minute. He can investigate all he likes. I'm gonna leave. Alright, so... I get there's the oxygen plant. That's the oxygen plant. I've already scanned that once. Is there more than one oxygen plant? I know I scanned it at least once. I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't scan the oxygen plant. I'll tell you in a minute. We scanned that one, not this one. Okay, so that one's not loading. That's the sodium plant. Okay, so it's the other one that I got, which means I think there's still one more sodium plant. Potentially, the dihydrogen plant is out there somewhere. Oh my goodness, I don't even know. I don't even know, I don't even know. There's a 
a mark over there. Oh, thank you, thank Boulder. I think we're down to one? One rock? Nope, three rocks. I thought we were farther along than that. Yeah, I know. We're so short of three rocks and three plants. Wow, we are just burning through. Get the sodium. Sodium nitrate's not worth that much, but I will take it. We could use it. That's regular hydro dihydrogen. Don't need the hydrogen crystals. Need the hydrogen plant. If we can find one. That's what we need. So let's see here. Um, you are cadmium. Do I need cadmium? Probably. Do I need cadmium? I got a little bit of emerald. I don't even know. Yeah, let's go with the cadmium. See if we can get ourselves a stack of cadmium. I don't need it for this ship, but if I want to upgrade the freighter, I'm gonna need cadmium. I'm gonna need two stacks of that actually. So we need 500. Because there's two upgrades that use it, and they're both 500. Both like 250 cadmium each. So, 500 cadmium is the ideal. We're on a cadmium world. And besides, if nothing else, I can turn it into um, the. So, I, I want to do here is cadmium. Uh, first, and then. Do that. that way I can drop a base here. And I can that way I can find this planet when I'm all done playing around. I'll drop uh, a base token, we'll take a picture. And that'll give us like coordinates and So we'll have coordinates for the planet. We'll have um, a base here, so we can come back to this planet. And really, what I want it for is I just want it for the coordinates, because I'll well, I'll just come back to this planet on. One of my normal saves that has all the glyphs. And then it'll be good. Because they really did make it easier by adding the glyphs to the save, to the pictures. They didn't used to. Back in the early days, they didn't do that because they wanted you to find the portal and do the whole portal side quest thing. But after a while, they realized that nobody cared and all they wanted was the glyphs. So they made it to where the glyphs were just on the pictures. 
by default. That was an early update too. It wasn't, it's was pretty early. I think it was part of uh, the original Beyond update. Maybe a little later. That gives me a bit over two stacks of cadmium, so that's good. That takes care of our cadmium problem. And we have um, chromatic metal. And what we really need now is we need the shot. Because I need to fill up some materials. And I don't have the um, the teleporter and the freighter, so. Well, my best I can do is use this. So. Oh, I need that. Um. Let's see now. The hydrogen, the hydrogen. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Carbon, condensed carbon, uh, the cobalt can go over, the sodium can go over. Need that, need that. Okay, that takes care of that problem. So, now we just need to continue our search. We need rocks and plants. And then we want to pick a nice spot for a base. Maybe a cave base. Or a, um, one of those under rock refuge jobs. You know, you use the floating rock as your, your roof or something. I mean, I got a couple near me. Wouldn't be too hard to check them out. It's a tantrum relic. Alright. That's good. Let's see if there's any plants down there. Alright. Do I see anything we don't have? As I said, it's kind of weird when you're, if you're actually looking for, like, species of animals. It's really easy. You know, you get 10, 12, but you can almost always find them if you're looking. When it comes to the rocks and the plants, it's a lot harder to master those. And honestly, eh, do I need gold? No, there's not. I think you should get achievements for that, not the the zoology one. I think the plants are just too easy. Or the animals are just too easy. Not a lot of them. They're fairly easy to find. But I think it's because these are tedious. Only true diehards tend to go looking for them. Or if you're on a planet you live on. I guess it's your primary planet. Yeah, I know. I don't need whispering eggs. Larval cores are not really that useful. Again, they used you with a lot of money. Now they're just kind of like, eh. If you're in the market for them. I mean, really, that's what it comes down to. It's like, if you're in the market for them, they're okay. Now, if you're early on, like you're early into your campaign, and you don't have 
a lot of money, then larval cores can be some good early money. That is true. Don't get me wrong. It is good. It's good early money. But it's not really worth doing and farming as it used to be. It used to be worth the farm. But now, not so much. Not really. It's always a thing. It's always interesting to see, you know, what developers. Uh, adjust. Mm -hmm. I won't say like they nerf it because uh, it's got a bad connotation. And people think that oh, just because it was nerfed, it was a bad thing. And really, it's not. Sometimes nerfing is good. Adjust the economy in positive ways usually. It adjusts, you know, game balance. See, like, being underneath something like this is interesting. You got a big old roof. You can get some really inventive stuff in here. I think I want a natural cave if I can find one. I don't think so, though. The way these are going, I'm not seeing a lot of natural cave stuff. Alright, so let's pull the ship. And let's go ahead and get a little farther afield. Because sometimes, in order to find the last few bits and bobs, you have to go where you've never been. And in my case, that's out of my toe. So we'll have a look up here. And these are cool. I like I like these little platforms. It's a lot of fun. I built bases on them before. They're a little disconcerting because you can't always, if you, depending on which way you face the, uh, I'm not seeing anything. Um, the landing platform. It depends on if you actually can see it, whatever. And if you're, I found mountains that are really high, like my standard save. I have one base that uh, he's really, really tall. It's probably two or three hundred AU, it's two, two or three hundred U drop. Yeah. It's like a two or three hundred U drop. You know what I want to do? Do I have any... Okay, curiosity. Um, I don't have one. Oh, bugger. Oh, yeah, you know, hold on. Right here. That was true. Let's see if there's anything actually here. If there's anything on this planet, this should find out. And that goes for really anything. Who knows? There's a crash ship. That could be interesting. Now, if it's a daylight, if it's a daylight freighter, then we might be able to get some freighter parts. Well, that's going to take a little bit to get to. Let's back out of that. I know, it doesn't know it's planet. It's not a big deal. We'll get there. Now, a 
Let's hope it's something good. Oh, bugger. All right, all right, I want to go investigate my, my rack. But no. I know. I know. Give him a few seconds. I got two ships. Not a big deal. I mean, you want to be like basically in orbit. You don't really want to deal with powered ships on the ground. They don't drop loot that way. You just get the money and the nanites. So you get the units and the nanites, if anything. And you don't get the, the loot bins. I think I'm still too close to the ground, aren't I? There it is. Alright, no, that was fine. Alright, so let's pay for a good RNG roll here. And we'll see what this comes out to. Turns around. Uh, looks like a fighter. We still, have, we still have fighters. What the hey? Uh, that was weird. You don't normally get two rounds of fighters. It's fine. I can deal with them. Unfortunately, I don't want to lose my. Right. Now it's my waypoint. Uh, there it is. Now, let's see. So it's not loaded in. This is weird. So there is no... What? That's so weird. Uh, beta banks. There is no ship here. I wonder if that's a glitch. Huh? Because there should be. All right, let's. Let's go ahead and reload just to see if it's a load glitch. Because those pirates. That happens sometimes. Sometimes the, the ships don't load in because of the of pirate activity or whatever. Not often, but it is a wrecked ship. So there should be a wrecked ship. And I'm not online, so it's like to make it claimed it before I got here. And it would be weird, considering I found this planet. Nope. Apparently, it's just a distress beacon. I uh, found an object caught between worlds. made this worth the the trip. Alright, you know, let's start a stress beacon. Start a stress beacon that gave us nothing. Not really worth the scan, but it's still fine. 
I can do it one more time and we'll see what they say. Because maybe. Nope. This is the only planetary structure on the whole planet. That's it. One. Oh, I need more of those. Uh, 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 okay, that's bad. Well, we need that acrid planet, so let's find that one. The same one? Yeah, it looks like it's the markers. That's a new bug that they've got. The markers show on the radar. They don't show on the on the screen. It's kind of weird. Um, what's this one? That one is the corrosive planet. Fungal mold, cadmium. Ammonia, cobalt. No, I want the acrid planet. It's the one I want. I want the acrid one. That's what I do. I need tritium too. That's desert. I swear, for a planet that has nothing in it, I'm getting an awful lot of pirate activity. I mean, I'm getting an awful lot of pirate activity for. Whoa! What was that? That was weird. I like the colors of the skin. That's actually pretty cool. Alright. That teal is... The teal or cyan color is actually pretty cool. He's got a pretty cool shirt too. Ah, we're going in the circle. Honestly, sometimes the um, the auto follow is just really bad, and it just does that. It just goes in circles for no reason. This is a pretty cool ship, though. I do kind of like a ship. Yeah, it's got a kind of little uh, a blade thing going on. Alright, so we're the Acre Planet. Uh, it's desert. Uh, you are Acrid. That's the new one, I think. So we'll see if this is the one we want to be in. If not, we can go to the corrosive planet. But I think it's the acronym. And if you want nanites, you can go to any planet that's got fungal mold. And you can um, farm fungal mold and then just put it through your refiners. And it's just... You have thousands of nanites quickly. Doesn't take much, doesn't take long. And fungal mold's pretty easy to, to farm. I'm not seeing water on this planet. Yeah, I know. 
Yeah, I'm not seeing any water on this particular planet, so maybe we need to go to the other one. Because you can only get, you know, ammonia and, um, in your environment, you're gonna have the sulfur you need and the chlorine to make the acrid crystal, the crystals. But, gotta have the bad environment. And these pirates are not making it easy for us. You're a Torad. Um, I mean, Torad. Gross, there it is. I'm looking for an aquatic gross. Tell me if I want to do a. base in this system. I probably should. I kind of like that ice planet. I didn't see any good caves though. I think I want a good cave planet. That might be nice. Bunch of uh, tritium. We're gonna be getting a bunch of um, silver, some gold. While we're getting down here, these tritium asteroids. Because we do need tritium. Pretty fierce. And honestly, I'd rather be, you know, pulsing and buying my tritium, but you know, it's fun. There we go, that's at least, that's two recharges. We're good. So we're going to the corrosive planet. That's where I want to go. Corrosive. So we're good on everything else. I think we're okay on all this. Uh, what I will do is I'll take this six and just do that. I don't need them. I need the 500. Because this ship already has its cadmium drive. It's the carrier that has a cadmium. I'm looking to see if it's got water. Can't really tell on the dark side of the planet. Oh, that's gonna be like silver. Uh, looks like it might. Let's see if we can get under the radar here. storm planet. Alright. 
We got one dude. That's fine. It's easy enough to knock out. Alright, so. But it is a heavy storm pants, so there'll be storm crystals here. That's good. And there is water. Can't see squat storm. Let's go ahead and land here. And grab these crystals before they run away. the strongest before they disappear. Because the more strongest we have, the better. I mean, I have 17 on the carrier, but I'd rather have, you know, way more. Because at our max jump, we're still looking at, like, 700 jumps. Without any efficiency upgrades. So, it is a problem. What do we have? 11 species? How much of I want to deal with 11 species? Yeah, I know, so most of the time playing out, playing around on that one planet. Trying to find some mores. Uh, this will be easy. There's not that many of them. And we see all the five we're looking for. Mm, no. Oh, some crystals. Let's see if I can get, get to those. Before the scrum ends. for the bright lights. Some crystals do that, unfortunately. Alright, so let's see if we can get ourselves some of those crystals. That's salt. That's kelp sacks. Okay. Get ourselves some air. I'm kind of curious what this one was. Cryophosphates and salt. Phosphate, organic compounds. Not a lot of things use cryophosphates. Mm. I mean, we should. Armor clams. That's living pearls. There's a bunch of them over here. There is some, there's a couple of things that use armor use the pearls. So you want to have, like, a stack of them. I think it's a stack of ten? That's what you need. I think it's like six or something like that. It's fine. I can deal with the toxic. Can't really deal with the water. But we can 
deal with the toxin. I mean, is that now six? I want ten if we can get them. Right. Uh, surface. We can deal with their toxicity. Do that. Okay, I'm not seeing. The sulfur crystals that I need. Little jellyfish. Thank you. Let's see. Um, okay, I do already have those guys. I'm not seeing him in this lake. Which kind of stinks. And we got salt crystals. But I'm not seeing... The sulfuric ones. What do we got now? See, they're not really worth that much. But there's a couple things that use them. So it doesn't hurt to have them. Harvestable oxygen sacks. Oh. Yeah, it's part of the, the help. But I don't see what we're looking for. Unfortunately. Maybe we'll find it in a different part of the planet. Not the strollers care to be able to see what we're doing and where we're going. Uh, until we get back to our ship. Yeah, if you had the sub, it'd be a little easier, but honestly, I see no point. The sub's cool at all. It is, it's, it's faster than swimming. I will say that. It is faster than swimming. Alright, so that puts us at 7 of 11. Alright, so let's... I thought I hadn't scanned him. That's eight. That's nine. Anybody else? Right, so let's drop our bacon and see if there's anything on this planet. Do I expect much? No. I'm not expecting anything on this planet. Like the last one, I expect like maybe a dollar or something. Crash ship. There's our rock. I said, that's all I can ask for. Now we can hope for a good wreck. But we can't guarantee we're gonna have any other kind. So we'll go over here. We'll take a look at the stress beacon. And then we'll look around and see if we can't find ourselves some deeper water. And maybe, just maybe we can get those crystals. If not, we'll move on. Looks like the same as the last one. Well, there was a wreck here, but it's already left. 
Such a shame. Ah, uh, black buck. Poor fugitive. Poor fugitive. I exit to mute it. That's a keen making. Take the very tech, though. I mean, this is still worth picking up. Because you do get, you know, between one and like five salvage data for each of those. And it's something. It's not as good as it used to be, but it's still something. Right. Is there anything left on this planet? It's just weird. The bacon. There's an organ. Alright. So we need to find some water. Probably some deep water. I'm not gonna do squat in this heavy river. I need to look at the planet. From, you know, an area where I can actually see the terrain. What? Huh? Contaminated. Hazard contaminated field. What? This is, I don't recognize this one. What's in this? Uh, let's see here. That's some interesting stuff. Because that is one of the big walkers. That's... I don't, I don't, I've never seen one of those with those glowing eyes. Not sure what that is. Um. Ooh. That's one of those worms. I can blow it up, though. Let's see what this says. Probably give me a ton of carbon or something. That is not where I shoot it. Uh, I got a heart. Inverted heart. Not worth anything. That stinks. Yeah, well, this is better than pirates. It's better than pirates, that's for sure. I think there's water over here. But with this planet wide storm all the time, it's hard to tell. I mean, you can't tell when there's a planet wide storm like this. Yeah, unless you actually find like a big body of water. We don't really need a huge body of water. But we do need a body of water. It does need to be pretty deep. We do know this planet has water. I can't see anything through the, the storm.
I mean, because it's always a planet-wide storm. The, the developers went really simple on that. If there's a storm, it's planet-wide. There. There's a lake. I said they went really simple. On the weather mechanics. They didn't try and do like planetary weather patterns where you have this storm that goes around the planet or something. They didn't try anything like that. And that's fine. I don't expect developers to do stuff like that. Some people do. I don't. I want to do planet wide storms, that's fine. Doesn't bother me any. So what's your what is it? Chlorine and hydrogen? What's yours? No, this planet does not have what we're looking for. Just doesn't have it. We are only missing two species though. That's kind of annoying. Where's our ship at? So what I think we'll do is once the storm clears, we'll see if we can't find ourselves. Um A larger body of water. Mm -hmm. Yay, I'm gonna need to get some ferrite dust. Let's get us a little bit of altitude here. A little bit more altitude. It's like a nice deep lake. Let's check it out. So that's like a nice deep lake. And we need ferrite dust. Because I gotta make some uh, containers. It's not a big deal. Let's grab ourselves some ferrite dust. And, well, here's one. Um, and there's a species we don't have. And that leaves us with one. One species we're missing. Which is kind of annoying. But it is a... Don't care. Go away. You're not gonna go away. I'm gonna kill you. Because I'm not here for you. Just here for the iron. That's all we need is a little bit of iron. I swear, not enough iron. Just need iron. The iron dust is just super annoying to have to collect. I need pure iron. So, let's go back to the ship real quick. Get in range of the ship so I can transfer some stuff over to it. Storm crystals can go to the ship. Uh, living poles can go to the ship. Mm hmm.
That can go to the ship, that can go to the ship. There we go, that gives us some sky list. Alright, so let's get back into the water and see if we have... I don't think we're actually going to have any sapphire crystals on this planet. Which is a shame. The other planet didn't have any water that I saw, so... Yep, that's the thing. Definitely a problem. Uh, last species. What is it? Let's see. The last species is a fly. So should be able to find that pretty easily. Cheap nanites. Okay. Well, this planet doesn't have a. Oh, go away, bugger. I don't care that I scanned another planet. Alright, in orbit. Alright, let's go ahead and do our next show. So, Scalactic Core. I'm gonna say, let's go. Hmm. Let's not do an uninhabited system. get a, uh, an economy scanner, and a combat scanner, and a combat scanner on this ship, so I really could use, make these jumps a little easier to figure out. Into a freighter battle. That's fine with me. That means I get freighter modules. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, oh, sell, oh, bail you out. I can dig it. I have no problems bailing you out, because then I get some more freighter modules. I lower those our freighter could use some. I mean, yes, it is only a type C, but it is better than Which freighter is the one that is being ransacked? Um, it's the one that has the red gates. So here's the one out front. I don't think it's this one. No, this is not this one. It's fine. We got hostile ships over here, we got hostile ships over there. Ow, 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 those true lasers hurt.
They don't hit often, but when they hit, they hurt. That's good. That's the good guys. That's the freighter. Don't shoot him. And there's our bad guy. These two are doing, but they're just out in the middle of the desert. It's okay, okay. We're good. Ah, uh, okay. So, a suspicious weapon. That's good. Let's see what else we got here. Anything good? Anything good? And more technology. Thank you. Right. So, it is this one. So, it's got one, two, three, four. So, it is the medium sized Imperial. landing system though. If you're not hitting it dead on from the front, it doesn't always pick you up. It's so weird. Alright, so I have no money. Can't buy the ship. But we will look at it. What is it? It's a A3494. Dude, it's actually a really good one. I guess I wish I had money. I want too much. Well, that's more than I can afford. Oh yeah, 142 million. Yeah, way more than I can afford. I'd love it though. But I am only 133 million short. Eh, whatever. I'll take what you got. But with it being a calf ship, one of the larger ones, it's always getting more expensive. They are outrageously expensive. This class ship's usually over 100 miles. Oh, we'll rate his carbon. I'm not gonna ignore it. Can't take his frost crystals though. I can't take his frost crystals. All right, I'll take his frost crystals. And his carbon. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna leave that behind. Shoot. Let me take frost crystals. 
and the carbon. Works for me. Okay. So, but we did get the freighter up in module. The cargo bulkhead. And that's useful. That allows us to expand our current freighter. And those are one of the best ways to get them. Is to just find those freighter battles. Alright, so what do we have for planets in the system? We have ancient bones with the symbols. Okay, not interesting. We have two planets. The other one's behind this one. There's a fighter fleet in the way. Let's see what this other planet is. See if it's anything good. Mmm, does... I don't know. That's an ice planet. Not so good. Alright. Let's keep on moving down. Down range. Probably this way. Mm. That's our top range. Let's see. Let's see what that one's got. Lots of planets mean, usually means a good chance we'll have something we want. And right now, what we want is those sulfur crystals. And our Gaelic fighters. So it's a system, economy, research, comfortable, conflict high, warped a few times, let's take a look at some planets, tainted, that's corrosive, that's a good sign. Really, I can't hit this stupid rock. Just need your tritium. Come on. There you go. Another tritium rock. Space potatoes. I'm so happy they got rid of most of the space potatoes. Because there used to be like everything was a space potato. Yeah, I know. I'm harvesting. Tritium, this plant, this system's got a lot of it. And I'm okay with that. Uh, silver. Ooh. He's not with a lot of units. Not worried about him. Alright, what do you have? You are? Survey says. What are you? You're a swamp planet. And you can harvest feces there. Mmm, yummy. That's the tainted planet. That's the corrosive. 
That looks like it might be a desert planet. Radiation. And there's one behind us. So let's clear this planet. And then... See what's hiding back here. Ashen. So that's a fire planet. I don't see... This is a corrosive planet, but I don't see water. Let's go to the day side. And see if we can see water here. Does not look like it. Like this corrosive planet does not have water. Which is a shame. on our freighter here because it doesn't have that other kind of drive. But we can at least shop. And if all it tells we can go back to the freighter, unload, and then come back. What the heck? What was that all about? So, a harsh blue globe, indium, deoxid, and salt. So that's a S planet. Indium, gold, and silver, metallurgic moon. Okay. It's going to land all deposits. Terraforming catastrophe. Iridium rusted metal and silver. So that's a barren world. This isn't up here. This one is a plated planet. Indium gold. That's a metallic world. I don't think I've seen that particular configuration before. You know, people. Um. No. I can't afford that. So, where are the moves? Everybody? Yeah, 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 I know. You're an explorer. Actually, kind of a cool looking explorer. Kind of like that one. I'm not usually a big fan of explorers, but the reason I'm not a big fan of explorers is they're often non symmetrical, and I'm not a fan of asymmetrical ships. I like, I like my ships to be symmetrical. It's just something I'm a big kind of big suit for. You never scanned that. I scanned you. I scanned you. We have how many ships here? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we had six pets. Um, we have a small cargo ship. We need to find 
some more room for cargo. Or I need to unload some cargo. Another. So that's one, two, three, four. standing on six. So I didn't scan the one I was standing on. Parched. So that's a desert planet. Nothing good. Nothing good's coming from this. It doesn't matter what kind of straw we go about. I think they're gonna have what we're looking for, it's not. It's not that big of a deal, but you know, it's one of those things that it does help. Shields are back. That works. And then I wasn't planning on stopping there. I was just planning on coming to the other side of the planet. So I can um still can't see the other side of the planet. Yeah, I see the other side of the planet. So, here we go. And we haven't, I haven't done the, uh, an interior derelict freighter yet. That's since the last update or two. So, I don't know how they've changed or if they're any good. 
um, incandescent planet. Mm, ancient bones cactus. Right, okay. So this one here is our, our best candidate. It does have water. So we can shoot for... I don't need that. I was trying to answer the ship's help, but it's okay. I really don't need frigates right now anyway. We'll go over here to the coastline. Take us down to the coast, and then I think we'll dive actually into the coast here. Don't want to enter the atmosphere. What I want is to find ourselves a nice little island to land on. And then we can go into the water and see if it has the natural fish we need. Hoping it does. However, before we go down, I want to uh, get some iron. Because we do need to make some starship fuel. Is have some starship fuel. Let's see. I'm not. I don't know. What's that? All right. I get past the alien jellyfish. Phosphates and oxygen. Okay. Um, that's fine. We're currently looking to see if we can't find ourselves sea worms. Normally, they're, you see those flying in the air. No, let's fix that problem. Let's see here. I mean, I don't mind swimming, but really, I want to know, do they have the plant, the fixture I need? And right now, the answer is, does not look like it. I mean, it'd be nice if it did. I know it's on this planet. Or it's on this type of planet. I think it was. Maybe it was on a different planetary type. Uh, 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 uh. 
Oh my freaking god! No, 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 <gasps> Oh my goodness! That was way too close. We are on permadeath, and that could have been bad. Really close. Crystal Soft. So what was it again? There it is. Now there's three of them here. That's all we need. Nope, I need six. Alright, so. What are you? Submerged rock. I'm not sure I know what that is. If I don't see what I'm looking for, I'll go there. Yeah, sure, let's go there. So I found out what that is. Not that I actually have space for it. I'm just kind of curious what it is. Offhand, I don't remember. Oh, that's the wheel thing. Yeah, it's about as uh, valuable as um, vertex cubes, give or take. Huh, there's a very tech up there with the ship. Do know what we're doing. We just there it is. We just need to make sure that we have enough air. That's the trick. Because if we don't have enough air, we're not gonna make it. Service here.
out of room. Uh, you just discard. There we go. Now we can get our last. Let's not get blown up by that thing. There we go. Now we're good. It's all over there too. Now that we really need it, now let's go ahead and pick it up. The reason we're going to pick it up is because if we do a um, Nautilus, we're going to need some. Quantum computer. And this space, this space does, does have a station, so we can go that way. We can go there and proceed to ship notes. Where's the station? And we can go to the station and then we can see what they have and we'll call it a night. just gets rid of the, the dude. I mean, it's not... 60k isn't that much. It's fine. I can live with that loss. What I can't live with is only want, like, the discount rate is, like, 250k. Are you kidding me? So let's go here, and we'll sell off stuff. Um, I don't need the feature pellets. Um, what else do we need? We need the cephalite crystal. I don't need the gek relic. Um, I actually don't need the salt or the cryo fast. I'll save the frost crystals because I need that for glass if I need glass. And the ship's got some mordite. Um, suspicious goods are just out, so I'm going to do that. Uh, silver, gold, that's fine. Save that, save that. Save the oxygen. Sell the heart. Sell the livers. Go ahead and sell the tech packages. Corvax casings. That. Suspicious weaponry, of course. Not my storm crystals, not my warp cores, not my cadmium. Alright, so that gives us a nice little tidy. Um. Uses are good. I don't care that I made money. You know, I mean, I made money, so what? Okay. Um. Yeah, I see quantum computers. I don't see any up here. Well, let me double check. 
it's possible that there was some quantum computers here, but I don't think so. No. No, it's with the MAO chamber, which we do need a couple at one point. But I don't need any at the moment. So that's everything. I could use this. Or does I could use an extra slot? Anybody else coming in? Give me my computer. I know that we don't need it. I mean, I don't know what oxygen rerouting means, but what we really need is one of those water bubbles. Let's see what he's got over here. He might have something. Let's see what he's got. He's got a toxic S, a thermal S. It does have water A. Yeah, but it has water A. That's actually useful, so. That makes dealing with water plants practical. And the rest of them you can kind of deal with, but. Water planets are hard because the base oxygen supply doesn't allow you to regenerate it. So you're holding your breath, but it won't regenerate. But yet the, uh, one of the water things, and that should do that. At least that'll give me some water protection. I'd rather have the, the rebreather mask, but you know, I haven't found one yet. I haven't gotten that one yet. Uh, for a wealthy system, this thing has no traffic. Really wealthy means lots of traffic. Go ahead and save here. This is where we're going to break it for tonight. And hopefully next time we'll be able to get ourselves a little farther along. We are still 700k away from the core. But we also haven't worked on our flatter yet. And we haven't, um, we haven't worked on the freighter. And we haven't taken any black holes. So there's a lot of things we haven't done to back and short our trip to the core. But we will make it there eventually, as long as I don't make any stupid mistakes. Like I almost said today, that was painful. But aside from that, thank you for visiting, and have a good night.